Hi, this is Robin and I'm going to do a tutorial today on how to do a page load animation inside Oxygen. You generally would see these kind of animation on beer company websites where they have a beer glass loading and then the website loads or there's so many websites which do that. And I'm going to do it inside today in Oxygen. So let's dig into it. Uh, I, we need a code block. So let's just add a code block and we move this on the top and let's just remove this and so what we need initially we need a structure we need uh, our loading image or a gif or a video whatever you want you can just add that so i will create a div class loader you can name it anything you want i will add a loader wrapper around it and i am going to add a gif for this Let's close this. Let's do right. I have a GIF animation uh, in my media library, uh, which I downloaded earlier. Uh, I like it. It's funny. Uh, person pushing and pulling, and it makes a nice loading animation. So I'm just going to come here. I'm going to copy this and add my loader and here it is let's just save it that it has now come here uh, but right now uh, it is on top and that is not what we want uh, so let's start looking into how we can do and make it sure that it is over the top of these elements uh, let's run into our CSS and let's create a CSS for our loader. Uh, we'll add a position fix for it. So yeah, and then we'll let's give a Z index of thousand or twelve hundred. And okay, and now we want for it to cover the whole screen. So let's do with hundred VW and let's take the height hundred VH and let's give it a background color of let's say white okay so this is our basic setup is done and let's now try to style it a bit make it centered and a bit more smaller save uh, okay so we have our loader wrapper and i'm going to give it a width of 450 pixel height of 450 pixel and add a display flex align items center and let's just try front justify content center and let's add a margin of say 150 pixel and let's see save and image is still quite big so let's do something with the image okay loader wrapper image let's say give it a max width of 100 percent so what it would do is that it would take the width of the container it is inside like a full width for that and so we have our basic loader ready and it was that simple uh, now comes the exciting part to create a JavaScript for it for it to actually load on the website and then fade out uh, after a particular milliseconds or something like that. Uh, let's jump into our JavaScript panel and because we want to do it on Windows load, uh, let's use jQuery Windows on load and let's add a function for it let's close this okay so our basic function structure is ready uh, so what we want to do now we want this to fade out uh, after some time so jquery has a function called set timeout which takes the function of what you want to do and a delay of how long you want this to run uh, so we are going to create a function set time out let's do a function 
and English this one. Yeah. So let's add say twenty six hundred milliseconds. Yeah, that should work. And now we need to have our loader and we need to fade it out and not immediately not just like uh, abruptly so i am going to give it a property called slow that would mean that it slowly fades out and it takes around 2600 milliseconds for it to fade out let's see how oh, we have some error we missed something oh yeah okay, sorry there you go jquery dot uh, dot here that should be okay uh let's save it and let's see if it works okay perfect it is showing on your screen and it fades out and you can see your website so that works perfectly now there is a small problem where in oxygen uh, this javascript is not going to run so right now you cannot no longer can see your code uh, your other uh, Blocks. So what we'll do is we'll come here, we'll do a condition where it is always hidden. In the editor behavior, it is always hidden. So by and now you can see your code. Let's save it. So what we can do here after this is that if you suppose you don't want to write this all code uh, by yourself, you can just simply uh, use the copies plugin and have this code added to your website I would leave the code on the blog post I'm going to uh, add shortly so let's see how it is going to work uh, I'm going to just copy this element over and go to a different website and come here and just command V and done and let's save it and let's see how it works and there it is it works on a different website now I just copied over and it's done Thank you for watching.